Hey everyone! So I wanted to do a video on how to do a Lovenox shot. Um, when I first started doing this for my last pregnancy, I was terrified. Um, and part of that is because no one really showed me how to do this correctly. So I went to uh, the nurse that was at the high risk specialist office, um, and she basically, you know, took a needle out and they have little practice things that they use. I don't know what they're called, but, you know, she literally was like telling me, stab it in really, really fast. And so I practiced stabbing it into this little device that they had. Um, that's really hard to do to yourself. And there's no reason to stab a shot into yourself. So in fact, that's not at all even what I would recommend. So um, I got some advice from a friend that has been doing these her pregnancies and then I also watched a couple of YouTube videos so I wanted to kind of combine everything that I learned from my last pregnancy um, and show you in a video so I've now been doing these for six weeks I guess for this pregnancy so um, first thing I'm going to do is clean the area so this is the first bruise that I've gotten um, I must have hit a vein or something because it's the only time I've gotten a bruise. So I'm going to do the alcohol pad and then let that start drying. So yeah, with this one, the minute I did it, I took the needle out and I was bleeding. Um, that was the one and only time that it's ever happened to me. So I'm hoping it won't happen again. Okay, so I cleaned the area. On the instructions, it says to do at least two inches away from your belly button. I stick to the sides because it really hurts less um, anyways. So I stick to the sides and then alternate every day. So right now I'm doing one of these each day. So tonight will be left, tomorrow will be right. Um, at 24 weeks, I will be doing this twice a day. So mornings might be left and evenings would be right, something like that. Okay, so what you do is pull this off, give it a good yank. Um, the instructions say not to take the air bubble out. I take the air bubble out. Um, so <laughs> it was advised to me by, again, my friend that has been doing many, many, many of these. And I really think it helps in not getting bruising. And I just do it until I get my first dot or drop at the top. Okay, so then what you want to do is I hold it like this with my thumb and my middle finger kind of under these, the little handle that it gives you. And I have my pointer finger ready to actually hit the plunger. Um, I have found that these shots, there's two things that can hurt. So the actual poke itself can hurt and then the medicine going in hurts. Um, it took me a while to figure out, and I don't have it down to a complete science yet, but I'm trying to get it to where the poke doesn't hurt. Um, so what I've been doing, so I always, I always lay down just so I'm relaxed. Relaxed muscles are not going to hurt as bad. So I pull the skin to make it nice and tight and then pop it up. And then what I've been doing is touching the needle to my skin. And if it hurts, I don't do that spot. There are some places that hurt worse than others just to touch the needle to. So that place kind of hurts. So I'm going to move a little bit. And this place doesn't hurt as bad. So I'm literally touching the needle to my skin. And then I take a deep breath and I just push it through. There's no jabbing. There's no sudden movements. I'm just pushing it through. So I'm going to see if I can get a better angle for you. Let's see. Ooh Sorry. See if maybe this does it better. So again, pull and then pop it up and then touch the needle to your skin. Hopefully you can see this. And then I just take a deep breath and then push it through. So it's through. And then the medicine can hurt going in. Um, it doesn't always, but I just do it nice and slow. I will say that the first three weeks probably of doing this, they hurt 
so bad. And I don't know if my technique wasn't down or maybe my... Okay, so it's through. So then I just pull it out real fast. Maybe my technique wasn't down. Then just pop the plunger all the way down and the safety device comes up. Maybe my technique wasn't good or maybe my body wasn't as used to the medicine as it is now. And so maybe overall it hurts less uh, or maybe I'm just mentally and emotionally used to it now. And so it doesn't hurt as much. But the first three weeks, every time I did it, not only did the poke actually hurt, and so it kind of felt like it was ripping through my skin, um, but then the the medicine itself hurt so bad, and it was just brutal. So I will say, like, power through, get past those first three weeks, and I feel like it gets a lot better. And I, again, I don't know if that's just a mental thing that I'm used to it, um, or maybe my body's used to the medicine now, and so it actually burns less. I think the biggest trick that I've learned is to really like do those test spots, touch just the tip of the needle to your skin. And if, it, if you really feel a poke and it hurts, don't, don't use that spot. There are other, there seem to just be, at least for me, there seem to just be really sensitive areas. And when I use this, they really, really, really hurt the entire time. So find a different spot and then just don't jab, just push the needle through your skin very gently. Um, and hang in there because I know it sucks to do the injections. Um, it's something that, you know, you get used to, um, and it's worth it. So it's obviously it's for a good cause to keep you healthy and the baby healthy. So I try and mentally wrap my head around that as well. So anyways, um, I just wanted to pass on my advice. Oh, there's a hair tie in her bed. Do you want to come say hello real quick? We're, we're not talking to anyone, just ourselves here. We're doing a video. <laughs> do you like to watch Mama do her shots? Yes. Careful, it's right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You can come sit by me for a minute. This one is supposed to be in bed. Why aren't you in bed again? Oh. You found a hair tie? Yeah. In your bed and you wanted to give it to me? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Any advice for how, how to do shots? Me? Yeah. Um. Ma. Ma. How about you listen to the truck just and don't take the air bubble out? That's a really good tip. Don't take the air bubble out, she says. Listen to the instructions. Which mama does not. I take it out. <laughs> I think it saves me some bruises. All right. So anyways, those are my tips. Um, I hope it helps and good luck.